Stones featuring Nick Pratt and Slow Mo. That was Antarctica. A lovely track. Uh, yeah, yeah. Check out his music. Uh, just dropped a, a new album called Black Watermelon News out of Pittsburgh. Kill it. Yeah. He kills yeah, it. That's the Urban Suite D Major, Cheryl Metal right here with the Paso. So uh, we're just talking off air. Um, let's say projects that you've done. You only this is your only second like official. Officially, this is only my second release ever. Despite the fact that I've been doing it for so long, I this is only the second official project I've released. I've released yeah. underground mixtapes, uh -huh. singles. I've He's been on numerous other people's people. projects, but as far as official release, this is only my second release ever. I never really had like any type of structure where I can um, produce an album and put it together until I met um, Mr. Uh, R.E.L. from Cheese Man who right. introduced me to, uh, you know, to the idea of, you know, signing to uh, the label that he had created, which was ATP <coughs> Records, and he was right. like, I'll help you with the manufacturing, the making of everything, so he's really the main reason, one of the main reasons why Elements got, you know, done. Right. Shout yeah. out to Ariel. Yeah, yes, shout out to Ariel, man. He, uh, and he was like, put on ATP Records, we put on ATP Records, and this one's also ATP Records. You'll see the the logo on there as well, and um, it's really only my second official release. So, I, although I have you know put out a lot of other projects, so that's why I'm after this project in a couple more months, maybe three months at the most, I'm coming out another project. After that, maybe in six months, another project. Like, that's why I'm like determined now that I have the you know the, the resources to put out projects. Right. I'm gonna put out as much projects as I can and let you know people know that, that you know I exist that there is. You know, such a thing as a lyrical bato Latino out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I get typecast a lot, or Mexicans in general. Like, oh, he's just a Mexican rapper. He just feels Mexican, you know, which I try to do as much as possible. But, yeah, you know, but I also want to let people know the diversity of hip hop. Yeah, I was sure. like, I'm hip hop to the fullest. Like, I grew up on that lyrical hip hop shit, like, stuff. You know, like Tribe Called Quest, yes. all that goodness. You know. Tell the Q-tip story you were telling us uh, <laughs> off air. I, 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 uh, <laughs> I was back in the day, man. I was in the West Side, and um, people didn't even know about Q-tip. So I went ahead and just made it my tag name, and I was tagging it all over the walls and dumpsters. And so I got caught, you know, doing it on a dumpster by a cop who knew my mom. Was like, oh wow! Kind of like a friend of the family. Is like, you want? I'm gonna go over there and tell your mom everything what you're doing. And I was like, oh, are you kidding me? And, it kind of made me stop tagging Q-Tip, but for a while I was tagging <laughs> Q-Tip because nobody knew who it was. I was so into them at the time, and I was the only one in my whole hood bumping him, and it was just like insane. And I, I put on a couple people to it, and it was pretty awesome, you know. That you know, I finally realized that, that saw that there was a scene in, in San Antonio that I was saying right. earlier. Uh -huh. and then, you know, as far as the history, after that, I mean, started getting in the lab, started recording, I started doing the endless shows, countless, countless shows, and. That's really my thing. Like I think uh, the reason I never really produced too many projects is because I was so in love with just performing, and I was just happy to get on stage and do performances. <laughs> oh yeah, since I, day know, one I saw you. Your yeah. performance was on point. Yeah, there's a lot of artists like, who sound really good, like on a CD and the performance and and some that you know sound alright on a CD and the performance is amazing. And that's what I like to do. Like I like to give people their money's worth when they come out to see a performance. Awesome. We're going to get into that a little bit more in a minute. Some music from LMO. Please, please keep it locked right here. The second hour of the Urban Suite is coming up next. Yeah. 